Hey Opties, we're on Desmos Geometry Tools. We're going to look at the symmetries and rigid transformation mappings in a tessellation. Here we have elongated hexagons in a tessellation, which is a repeated pattern with no gaps or overlaps. We're gonna drop that opacity and use the polygon tool to trace out this polygon. Note that you must log in and also import that image to do this. Now that we've done that, we're going to mark the lines of reflection for reflective symmetry. We have to use the midpoint tool to get the midpoints of those sides for one of our lines. We use the line tool to make those lines. And now we're going to select our polygon, use transform tool, specifically the reflection tool, to make sure that those are lines of symmetry. So when you test this, your polygon should map to itself, which we see is happening here. So that's good to see. Now we're going to verify the rotational symmetries using our rotation tool. This polygon has order two rotational symmetry, which means it has two angles of rotation. That's gonna be 180 and 360. And we do see that that works because again, it's mapping to itself. That's all we wanna check for our symmetry. So now we're gonna name that file as our name and symmetry. So I just said Optomath. The next thing we're gonna look at is rigid transformations. And so we're gonna save this graph, the, the link and the picture. And technically you'd make a new file for your rigid transformations and re-import your image. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep using what I already have here. But you would want those separated to be just to be a little bit cleaner to look at. So now I'm gonna take that pre-image and find some images by some transformations. And I'm gonna show you rotation of 180 degrees and translation to map to that adjacent image there. And I also wanna do one for non-adjacent. Note that I'm marking the vector there just to show that. And now I'm gonna do a reflection to map to the far right elongated hexagon that's a non-adjacent polygon. So we're just thinking about adjacent and non-adjacent to get in some different types of transformations that might happen. Note there are multiple ways that I could transform this figure to map to adjacent and non-adjacent figures, but I wanted to show one of each transformation. That's all we need for that. We're gonna save the file, name it as our name or Optomath, and then say rigid transformations. And then we're going to copy that link and export that image. All right, Opties, thank you so much for listening. This is it for Desmos Geometry Tools. See ya.